configuration. Yeah. And it's brought to us by Stormfront. Oh, that's great. Oh god, that's loud. Oh dear god, hold on, let me mix that down. Let me mix it down. Okay. I think I think we're good now. <laughs> oh, hey, look. It's uh what's this? Your it's going by too fast. But it's it's saying that my world will be filled with a full range of official D&D game characters. I hope that's not too loud still. Um I'm hoping it isn't too loud, but it's got music. Uh unlike Unlike Might and Magic, this game has music. <laughs> Ooh, Force and Fury meet magic spells as battles play out in the courtyards of mighty castles. Oh man, a giant ant. So I'm just kinda... I'm looking at what the game has to offer. Your people will fight bravely and work hard. Your city will grow and grow. And grow. But beware the evil Mindark, whose hordes destroyed your homeland long ago. Mindark, the guys who made Entropia Universe? <laughs> your desire to destroy him and gain revenge inspires you to new heights of adventure and glory. If you lead with wisdom and cunning. If you fight with valor and guile. You will truly be master of your stronghold. Man, they're really trying to sell it. Trying to... So again, I'm hoping that the audio is not too loud on it. Um, I'm hoping. <clears throat> so let's get in there. Um, I'm clicking the buttons. Alright, an official Dungeons and Dragons product. <clears throat> Brought to us by uh, TSR. Nice. So yeah, this is in fact an official D&D &D project, and it's created by Stormfront. Again. Good to know, good to know. For Strategic Strategic Simulations Inc. Okay, can we can we start up? Uh okay, yeah, Stormfront, thanks. How do I start the game? Uh okay, can I Oh I see, that's like clicking demo cancelled. There we go. I was kind of wondering, like, am I am I stuck in the eternal demo? Um, so, okay, this game, all right, this game, um, I tried to play it once before, and I I couldn't really get anywhere with it. I I wasn't I wasn't making any sort of progress. I, I wasn't really sure what to do or how to do it, but I've got the manuals open next to me, and if I have to rely on them, I will. But I am uh, I'm hoping that my D and D kingdom will grow and prosper this time around. So let's go ahead and choose a new game. Uh, oh, here we go. Stronghold copy protection. Turn to page number two of the manual. Um. Oh. Oh. oh God. I, hold on a minute. I gotta. I gotta tab out. <laughs> okay. So I'm turning to uh, page number two of the manual. Um. Uh, let's see. Page. Oh, these pages are so tiny. Let me just uh zoom in and do a one yeah single page display okay page one page three 
page two. Okay, I'm on page two. So page two of the manual, including titles. So including titles, count to line number two. Enter the first word. So uh, in well, including the titles, line number two would be after. So uh, so okay, after. All right, nice. So, um, so which new world? So we've got first city, world one, world two, world three, world four, world five, random. Uh, I, I guess let's go to world one. How about random? I like random. Let's, uh, yeah, I like random procedural generated gameplay. So let's try that. So I'll go to random world. Hostility level. Um, uh, so okay, we've got peaceful, aggressive, hostile, custom. So I'm guessing that's like, you know, difficulties. So how about aggressive? Resetting game. New world complete. Oh, okay. So we've got a new world. Um, So, begin play? Yeah, let's begin play. Here we go. So, uh, this is our world. Create Baron or Baroness. So, do I just click the button? Alright. So, it's time to create our own Baron or Baroness. Uh, so, what do I want to be? So, I can reroll ability scores or select the character's class. Oh man, this right here, this is, uh, so this is old school, again, I have to say it, this is old school D&D where, um, so like if you look at your class selection, you've got fighter, mage, cleric, thief, you know, that's all standard, right? But then you have dwarf, elf, halfling, and so you might think, wait, is that my race selection? No, uh, like in old school D&D, Dwarf, Elf, and Halfling, those were classes. Like, basically all Dwarves, all Elves, all Halflings, they all functioned pretty much the same. So, like, all the Elves are, like, super archers, and all the Dwarves are uh, just kind of, um, you know, battle axe or, uh, or great hammer wielding uh, fighters. And all the Halflings are kind of like thieves. So, yeah, you got options. Um, for me, I want to go mage. So I'm going to re-roll my stats. Um, as a mage, I want to have really good intelligence and really good charisma. That's all I really care about. Okay, you know, actually, this seems like really balanced stats. Um, yeah, like, look, this, this is pretty balanced all around. Hmm. Hum. It is really balanced, but no, I want good. I want good int. Uh, I need really good int and good charisma. So I want to roll a sixteen or higher. Okay, seventeen int, twelve charisma. That's good, but I think we can do better. Hmm. I don't know. These random dice rolls—they're not working out for me. They're not. Uh, they're not doing it for me. Okay, here we go. That's actually perfect. Well, no, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So, 17 int, 17 charisma. That's uh that's pretty much where you want to be for a mage. So, let's uh let's go with mage. Okay, so you may raise a primary ability by trading two points of another ability. Select ability to increase. Uh intelligence so I can adjust downward my strength. All right. So, so we're creating, uh, we're basically creating the, um, I don't know, like we're, we're creating the, you know, the character of our, uh, like, like how our kingdom is going to be shaped. So we've got lawful, neutral, and chaotic. Now they're not, um, yeah, they're not, they're not giving us the concept of like, um, 
you know, good or evil. Just lawful, neutral, or chaotic. So, I don't know. Uh, lawful, that's like... Lawful is what you think of when you think of, like, a, you know, the, the goodly, uh, you know, kind of Arthurian kingdom. Neutral, that's more like, uh, that's more like elves. That's more like, um, that, that's like, you know, the balance, right? And then chaotic, that's for warmongers. Like, uh, chaotic is for, like, warmongers. And also, also, uh, it's, it's actually how you play the game. So, the thing is, is that a lawful kingdom in this game, a lawful kingdom, in order to advance, you just build your, basically, you just build your kingdom up, and that's how you advance. Um, a chaotic kingdom, a, a chaotic kingdom, essentially, um, they advance by, by warmongering, by conquering and, uh, you know, killing monsters. And a neutral kingdom can do either. Uh, I'm gonna go neutral, alright? So a neutral leader must destroy all enemies and achieve the rank of emperor in order to win. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so like as a neutral, I need to destroy all the enemies and become an emperor. Um, ooh, that sounds uh, sounds rough. But you know, I think that's how I want to play it. So yeah, male or female? I don't know. We'll just go male, and uh, we will be Lord Lord to double us. So yeah, Lord double us the uh the neutral mage. Okay, and I will keep him. So place Lord double us here. Uh and I can Uh yeah, let's let's place him. So here we go. Our kingdom our kingdom begins. And let me see, how do I uh Okay, I, I see how to how to do things now. So yeah, um, so my character is a mage, so all of my little followers, see look, if you look at him, so there are people sleeping on the streets at night, for want of places to live, my lord, we need to build more houses as soon as possible. Yeah, so the thing is, is that my character is a mage, and so all of my, like all of my adventurers that my kingdom produces, they're all gonna be mages. <clears throat> yeah, that's fun times. So, okay. Yeah, our, our little kingdom is building up here. Can I can I take a look at it? Uh, so, main castle, zero percent complete, owned by Lord Doublus. Active party member. So, active party is Lord Doublus the mage. Okay. And view Lord Doublus. So here's my. Uh, my stats, and then my population, food production, food stored, food storage, year one, a neutral leader must, uh, okay. So we've got auto build, census, property, total census, all property. Okay. So let's look around, okay? So we can create a party member. Hmm. Uh, we can so here's the thing this game has a very odd way of building um so like if if you want to build things in this game if you want to build things you basically have to uh like your little adventurer guys they have to actually physically go to that square you cannot build on a on a place without you know some form of uh you know party member being there so, okay, we can claim the tree. Harvest value is three gold. Active party member is... Okay, so we can either claim it or we can chop it down. Hmm. So the harvest value is three gold. So we can either claim it or chop it down. Uh, let's take a look over here. So it's a plot. Okay, so creates food and income. It will cost Lord Doublest the Mage 10 GP, and I have 300. So I can make a plot, change buildings. So, ooh, look at all this. So I can produce, so I can do housing, I can do farmland, I can make walls. 
So I could actually make walls around my uh, my fortifications here. I can make a forester's camp. Um, I can make bridges. Hmm. <clears throat> I could do a granary, a marketplace. Uh, let's see what else we got. I could make a bazaar, a tower, a vault, a jeweler, a magic mi a magic mill. Hey, what, what is a magic mill like? What? Is that some kind of magical windmill? I don't know. Uh, but we have lots of different things we can do here. And, uh, you know, let's look at our people real quick. Um, but they want housing. So a magician's room will provide more housing. It will cost Lord Doublest the Mage 10 GP. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Hmm, so not everyone here agrees about what to do with the forest. Some want you to claim these trees and tend them. Others want you to chop them down and build. Okay. So, some people want me to claim them. Others want me to chop them down. Hmm. I think I'm gonna chop them down. Okay. So now we can build. So, uh, let's see. So the Magician's Room provides housing. So it's 0% complete. Hmm. So, okay, what else do they want? We can't help thinking, my lord, that this would be a good place to build something to help our people. Well, it, I, I know, right? Okay. I'm building a Magician's House over there. So, uh, okay, I'm building one Magician's House. So what else could I possibly build? Farmland? Creates food and income. Okay. Farmland. So that makes food and income. Uh, what else have we got? What does a granary do? Storage shed. Provides storage and distribution of food. Will cost Lord Doublest the Mage 100 GP. I will place that. Okay. So now, we've basically got, we've got a house, we have a granary, and we have farmland. Uh, so what else could we need? A marketplace, so it adds to crop value and gives access to fund. Will cost a hundred. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so we are building. Um, yeah, we're building a house. We're building a farmland, and we're building. So house, farmland, granary, marketplace. Now, I don't know if this is like, uh, I don't know if I'm doing good or not, but let's take a look at this. So, plot 10 out of 10, owned by, okay, so active party is Lord Doublest the Mage, upgrade costs 500 GP. Okay, information. So, income created is one gold, feeds seven people. So, it feeds seven people and produces one gold. So, let's take a look. Uh, let's, let's go back one square. And let's look at my stronghold. Uh, let's look at, yeah, let's view Lord Doublest. So, okay. So I have a population of two right now. I have no housing. I have 17 food production. I have no food storage. I have 84 gold and I have 3,000 vault storage. I have no fund access, no common fund. Popularity, so my current popularity is uh, 41%. I have zero city blocks. So, okay. Um, yeah, I need... Um, basically, I just need to keep expanding. I need to, uh, to keep growing things out here. And the main castle is 34% complete. Nothing over there. Oh, hey, look, I can switch the map over. So here's a map of, like, the overall area, and if I look around... Yeah, the area is actually rather large. Um, yeah, the area around the castle is very big. Okay. So, uh, how's the building coming? 50% complete. 20% complete. All right, I, I cannot actually do anything right now. 
Yeah, see, look, if I if I try to build on land where none of my people are, it just doesn't do anything. Like, it doesn't do anything at all. <laughs> all right. So let's just kind of let's sit back and let's chill. Let's wait and, you know, wait until they finish building. My main stronghold isn't even built yet. And right now I only have a population of two. Okay, there we go. Look, a house. So uh, let's take a look at it. So it's a magician's room. It provides housing for two people and storage for ten food. Salvage value is four gold. Okay. So it provides housing for two. And, you know, a little bit of uh, room to store food. That's nice. Uh, let's take a look at our people. There are people sleeping on the streets at night. Well, uh, well, why are you doing that? Why are you, why are you sleeping on the streets at night? You've got a house. Uh, you have housing. Hmm. Can I like do a quick look here? Ooh, what's this? So the one unit loyal to Lord Doublus is twenty five percent. Recruiting. Huh. Oh. 25% training and 50% building. Okay, so like I guess this is where I can I can choose to specify like do we want to we ha okay, so I can basically I can switch between recruiting, training and building. Okay, so I have options. That's nice. Hmm. Well, I guess right now I'm just waiting to see like, you know, what happens. Ah, uh, interesting. I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't want to create a party member. See, I don't even know what to do with my current party member. All right, here we go. What is this? So it is a marketplace. So the active party is Lord Double is the... Okay, information. So marketplace creates five gold of income and accesses 0% of the market fund. Okay. So it generates income and it also lets me access. I don't really know what that means. And the, the last building is still going here. So I, again, I tried to play this game once before. And it didn't go down so well, but the reason it didn't go down so well is because I didn't really have any idea what I was doing. I have a little bit better of an idea of what I'm doing now. So I just noticed that we have... Yeah, see, look, we got two people here now. Oh, my lord, families are squeezed together in tiny rooms throughout this neighborhood. We need more housing. Okay. Well, they want more housing. Well, you gotta you gotta start expanding, gotta start growing. Like I want people to go over here so I can claim up this space. This is the problem. Uh, let me save the game. And double the indecise. Yeah, let's just save it over that. Okay. Um, let's go back to. There we go. So, the problem that I've that I had with this game is that you don't really um you don't really have any control over where your little people go. They just sort of randomly wander around the map and yeah, like see look, I just noticed that one of these guys yeah, see they just went over here. Oh, hey, I have a I got a I got a castle now. Uh, let's take a look at it. So the main castle provides housing for 25 people and storage for 375 food. Okay. So wait a minute now. Wait a minute. If I were to look All right, so I have housing for 27 people now. I have food storage for... I can store... Okay, I can store 385. 
So basically, I have all the food and housing that we need. So that granary. Um, yeah, this, this granary right here. That's actually completely unnecessary. This house is completely unnecessary as well. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. We don't need the granary. The the granary actually doesn't really do much of anything. I mean, we we have all the food storage that we need. I I don't know. No, let's uh, let me let me take a look at it again. Uh, what I'd like to do is maybe look at the information on it. Can't do that. Uh, hmm. What's this? Movement. Ah, uh, I see. That's just like to move around. I don't. It doesn't do anything for me. Okay. Well, I guess I'll build that granary. I I guess. Oh, we've got people moving to other squares now. So let's go ahead and start building. Okay. So what I want to do is let's build some uh hmm I could make a forester's camp. Hmm. Let's try that. So it enables claiming of trees. Oh. Oh. Okay, um let's place. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Suspend that. That yeah, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Um change building. I want to build farmland. So this adds to my food and income. So I want to build farmland. There we go. Yeah, I want to basically keep expanding the farms outwards. That's uh, that's what I want to do primarily right now. Uh, what do we got here? Minerals. So I can excavate it. Ooh, iron deposits. Nice. Uh, we found iron deposits. So they're building an iron mine now. Now I could harvest these trees for three gold, or I could claim them. Uh, let's claim these. Hmm. I I'm not sure what they're doing with that tree. But they're doing something. They're, they're, they're up to something. Now let me take a look. I, I love this. So tree is zero percent complete, so they're um they're they're building a tree. Hmm. Okay, I, I like to click on the little people and see like what they think I should do. They're never very helpful. Yeah, it would be a good place to build something to help our people. Nice, nice. Hmm. Okay, where's this guy going? He's. I, I'm wondering, it's like, is he leaving the square? I don't know. This guy right here, he has just gone like... Okay, let's chop those trees down. Let's chop them down. Okay, I've got 27 gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a farm. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm building lots of farms. That's, that's what I'm doing now. Hmm. Alright. Those farms are still building. I have 24 gold now. So I'm gonna place another farm. Alright, so we're building three farms. And over here... We're going to build some more farms. Now, I'm leaving space to build something right here. So if I want to build something else, I can do that right here. But the little farms, they add to gold and uh, an income. Okay, here we go. So a tree owned by 
Lord Devils. So I can upgrade the tree if I want. What does the tree do for me? So the tree, it creates one gold of income and it feeds five people. Uh, okay. Um, I, I don't know. So what kind of buildings can I make? Uh, well, how about a tower? Okay, that's uh, 500 gold. So what I'm getting out of this right now, what I'm getting is that I am going to have to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to generate a lot of gold. Like, I mean, a lot of gold. So let's go ahead and uh, previous farmland oh i don't have the gold to make the farmland oh no let's see what do, what do the people have to say nothing so i guess they're happy let's take a look at my little profile here hmm auto build huh total census property all property okay so it looks like i have gotten uh says my current popularity is 61 and to promote is 55. So it looks like I could I could be promoted. Um population is 16, housing 27, food production 48, food stored 190, food storage 885. Okay. So here's what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is that our population is slowly and steadily growing, so I might want to start building some housing. Also, I'm seeing that our income is very low. So we need to start we need to start getting some income. Like now. Hmm. Yeah, I'll I'll build like another house. I think I'll build another house in a second. But, so what do houses do for me again? So it provides uh, housing for two people and storage for ten food. Okay, so the more houses you have, the more storage for food you have as well. That's nice. And what about the, so how much gold, how much gold does a farm give me? Okay, it gives me, hmm. So it gives me one gold. That's not a lot. You know, one gold is not a whole lot. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's see the marketplace. Ooh, now what, what does this say? Okay, so it creates five gold of income and accesses 10% of the market fund. Okay, so it creates five gold of income, so so if I want to expand, you know, keep growing, uh, you know, I'm going to need gold. Well, apparently, marketplaces are the way to get gold. It makes sense. Hmm. Wait, what's this? A storage shed. Oh, right, for the granary. Hmm. So it okay. It costs ten gold. Of, oh, it costs ten gold of income, but it provides storage for five hundred food. Okay, so that's why my income is so shitty right now. It's because I I have no income because the granary is. Uh, oh, hold on. Let me take a look at my main fort here. Okay, yeah, I only have three income, so I need to start getting more income. Hmm. 1869, a ship trading game. Uh, hmm. Like a ship trading game, as in like, as in you're, you're trading ships, or as in you're a, you are a ship trading goods. Uh, that could go either way. I, like, I've, I've tried some of those really niche simulators, like, um, like I did like a train simulator like not not uh, like a uh, it was railroad tycoon 3 
I tried that, and I, I didn't really get into that, because uh, it just felt like I wanted to build the city out, but it's like, no, you're you're just a railroad tycoon, you know? You kind of run into that problem when it comes to those super niche simulators. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I think I might get into that. I think I could get into that whole idea. You know, get my own ship and get a crew and buy and sell goods. Uh, yeah, I could get into that. Um, see, like, I thought you meant, like, it, it's like you're some kind of shipyard merchant and you're, you're building boats. I thought oh, that was what you meant. Uh, that, that would be a different kind of simulator, I guess. But, um, yeah, I, I would be interested. Oh, God, look, we have 65 gold already. So, uh, 65 gold. Let's change our building types out. So I want to build a market. Now that would cost me a hundred gold. So we have to wait a minute. But oh, oh look, look at this. Um, change building, farmland. Build it right there. Okay. I need to. Uh, I need to expand. And again, my problem with this game is that the way that you expand. Um, the way you build things out, you actually, like, I have no control over these little lemmings here. They just go where, wherever they want to go. And I just, I have to build wherever they go. I can't, I have no ability to decide where they get to go. Okay, let's, um, wait, how much gold do I have? I've got 151. All right, we're making the gold now. So let's go ahead and let's make another marketplace. Okay. So yeah, we'll have a fresh new marketplace. We will be able to... Uh... Yeah, to get more gold. I wonder, if I click this... No, that, okay, that's just like informing me that the passage of time is happening. Gotcha. Okay, well, you know, let's build another one. Let's build another marketplace. Yeah, look at that. Why not? Uh, let's build a whole bunch of marketplaces. And let's, um, the moment that I can, like the moment I'm able to, let's try to build a, uh, some, like, uh, let's try to build a house over here. A couple houses, actually. Now, what does this do for me? In this iron mine. Ooh, it creates 50 income. Yeah, it creates uh, 50 income in gold. So, yeah, that is really nice right there. Now, I could upgrade. Hold on a minute. I could upgrade my main castle. Let me, let me take a look at that. So, the cost to upgrade is 7,000 gold. But let's take a look at the information. Um, yeah, housing for 25... Yeah, I, I got that. Um, let's look at my stats. Okay, so my approval rating is quite nice. My population is 30, and my housing is only 27, so I need to upgrade our housing. Uh, food storage is also getting very full. So yeah, housing. I need to build housing, like, now. Um... I'm going to build some right over here. I'm going to switch out to housing. And I'm going to place it. Just uh, just kind of place it like that. And I'm going to change out to farmland. Place one right there. Okay. Now, this farmland, I can switch that out. Oh yeah, I do. I have to remember to upgrade the buildings that have already been built. I, uh, yeah, I shouldn't go expanding too rapidly. Although, expanding rapidly is fun, you gotta admit. So wait, is this all built on this layer? No, this is a whole new layer, so let's change out. And let's build another marketplace. And let's build... Perspective is kind of weird on that. Um... Let's chop the trees down, and let's build another house. Let's change out, build some farmland. Ch 
chop down the trees. And let's build another house. So basically, I have lots of room for houses now. I got lots of houses, got farmland. We're, we're doing great. Um, and I will have to, again, remember to upgrade. Also, hey, TMD. Um, this is only the second time I've ever booted this game up. The first time, I had no clue. Uh, but now I feel like I've got a better grasp on the game. So I got a bunch of things building. And uh, I wish I could just see my gold count, like, all the time. I got 54 gold. Or no, 54 income, 81 gold. So I guess now I just sort of wait. Uh, what do the people have to say? The people have nothing to say. Okay. So I'm not too sure what I want to build now. Um, I'm just kind of waiting until everything finishes building. Uh, I wish there was some way to, like, fast forward in this game. I, I don't see that there's any way to fast forward, which is a shame. So, again, I really only have, I really only have one problem with this game, and that is that, um, I have no ability to send my little guys to other squares. All I can do is, like, all I can do is just wait until they go to the square. <laughs> hey, Tommy. It might as well be. Um, you're watching my my little peasants. You're watching them sweat away as they build, uh, as they build more houses and things for for my empire. And let me uh, go back one, go forward, go. It's kind of the perspective in this game is a little weird. Okay, so that's a magician's room. It like I don't know it. So here's the thing. So you look at that building and you're like, is that on? This layer? It is. What about that one? I mean, it looks about as big as that, but that's actually on a whole different layer. Uh, that house is actually over here. See, like, perspective. This game has a really weird perspective. Okay, we got another house built, and it costs 300 gold to upgrade it, but I feel like there's some other things we might want to do. Um, well, I did, I, I did actually, I, I did stream EU a little bit last night, just kind of, just showing, like, that I'd actually done anything with it, but it was, it was late at night, and, uh, people were just jumping ship, uh, like crazy, so I, uh, I, I stopped that, but, um, yeah, I haven't really, I don't have a whole lot more to show, uh, Except for some customization of the character and just, like, I have a better sword now, but I'm not skilled enough to use it, so I don't use it. <laughs> like, I mean, I can, I'm skilled enough to use it, but I'm, I'm not, uh, it's not maxed out, so I'd just be wasting money. And the season has just changed to summer. Mm. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm just waiting till I have the gold to do something. <laughs> well, it was late at night for me, I guess. Um, but uh, I, I'd streamed like three other games, so it was um, stream was winding down. Okay, we got four hundred forty-one gold, sixty-one income. Population is man, the population is really growing. Like I mean, really, really growing. Now wait a minute, have I done anything with all this land? No, I have not. Well, let's get to it. Start building. Alright, I just noticed a couple of buildings popped up in the background. So I'm going to take a look. Housing, 37. Food production is 110. Our food storage is actually maxed out. Kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I guess... um. You know, everyone just kind of started jumping ship on the Entropia stream, so I just, uh, I knocked it off.
But again, it's because like the way, like you know, the way I I do Entropia Universe, I don't really have a lot of exciting things to show off for it. I mean, it's like I I, I bought up some more assets. I make a bit more revenue now. That 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 doesn't really translate to an exciting stream. You know, I do have a nice sword now, but I'm not skilled enough to use it properly, so. So I can't really show off anything with that yet, and I don't think people want to see me, like, running around doing, I don't know, like, Gauntlet or something like that. So, eh. And yes, yes, quite U.S. Uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm an East Coaster at that, so. Time zones. So let's see, let's, uh, let's add another house because it seems like we need more housing, and I know I could upgrade, but look, the amount of gold it costs to, to upgrade is so high. Um, I would rather just sort of build... Yeah, see, I'd rather just build some fresh houses. And uh, I want to have room to build something. So let's take a look at the other buildings we can make. Um, I can make a tower, I can make a vault. Now what does a vault do? So it's a money dealer's shop, it provides gold storage. Okay, so it's like if I need more gold, I can, I can build that. Um, what does the tower do? It's just a small tower. Oh, what does that do? Like, I, I'll go ahead and build one, because why not? Uh, let's build some farmland over there. Okay, so we got a tower coming. I'm not too sure what the tower does, but we're building it. I don't know. Um, I see a lot of people in EU. Um, I see a lot of them, like, uh, like around now. Um, like, you know, around, uh, it's like 5 o'clock now. I see a lot of people between, like, 4 and 9 o'clock. I see a lot of people. Uh, like, for me, I never see anyone, like, I never see anyone around, um, like, late at night for me, like, real late, like, um, you know, 1 o'clock in the morning or something. I never see anyone, so, uh, and I'm guessing that's the more Euro hours, but, um, like, all I see at that hour is, like, Russians and, uh, and Portuguese, too, which is kind of weird. Uh, Brazil, Brazil never sleeps. Brazil never fucking sleeps, but, um... Yeah, I don't really see a whole lot of people, actually, those hours. Oh man, yeah, games from the era before tooltips. Like, I, I like this game, and I want to do more with it, but the problem is... The problem is that, like, nothing is really explained. And I do have a manual, but I, tabbing out to even get to the manual is a problem. Kind of interrupts the game. Uh, so let me take a look. Uh, I've got my small tower here. I have 386 gold. So before I go upgrading anything, I want to see what the people have to say. Nothing. The people have nothing to say. Um, how about me? So we have a population of 44. We have 41 housing. Uh, we've got a bunch of houses on the way. So the population should get fixed eventually. Now, food storage, we're also a little bit high on food storage. <laughs> big rigs, oh man. You know, I think big rigs is, uh, it's such a one-trick pony, it really is. And I say that because it's like a lot of people, you know, they've seen their reviews and whatnot, and it's like, oh my gosh. You can go backwards at infinity speed, oh, oh goodness, but that's really all there is to see. I mean, like, other than that, the only thing about big rigs is that, um, I guess it's that nothing in the game works, but, well, I, I don't know, like, that's your average Russian game, I guess? There's just not a whole lot there. Um... Yeah, you can go... I guess, yeah, you can go both ways. But, um... Yeah, it's just, I, there's not a whole lot to see there. The, the music works. I, I guess that's one thing. The music does work.
Hmm. Let's see, I got some houses here. Let, let's see, how's my gold doing? How's my gold flowing? Which, I can't actually check my gold unless I, like, okay, if I go to build something, right? Okay, I got 558 gold. So let's take a look at the other buildings we can make. So a tower, a vault, a bazaar. So a trading post provides for food trade. Re requires a rank of count. So, okay, I need to upgrade myself. In order to upgrade, costs 7,000 gold. Damn. Well, here's what's supposed to happen, okay? Uh, what's supposed to happen is that enemy strongholds are, like, okay, if we go to the map, alright? So, yeah, enemy strongholds are supposed to appear, and, like, there's, it's a, okay, this is a Dungeons and Dragons game. So, enemy strongholds, um, you know, evil, you know, armies, uh, monsters, like, there's supposed to be monsters, like, harpies and, and giant ants, and, like, there was all kinds of cool stuff in the intro. You know, the intro showed a bunch of wizards and, and fighters and, and archers, like, doing battle with a, with a giant ant and a harpy. Like, that, that looked cool, but I, I, I don't know. I guess that's a ways off, I guess, right now. Ooh, a mine just got exhausted. Yeah, I guess right now we're just sort of building things up. We're just, like, we're just sort of getting, um, you know, getting everything set up and and man my income like that's gonna that's gonna be a big hit to my income right like let me let me take a look uh information no that's that's the wrong button uh view yeah so my income just got slashed by 50 points god damn i just lost 50 gold income so now i need to think of a better way to make money um oh yeah this map like I mean, if you look at it, right, like, this is my whole map, and, okay, like, I want you to look at the perspective, okay? So, like, yeah, like, I'm moving, like, each time you hear that click and I'm moving on the map, you can see how I'm, like, like, up in the top right, that's where I'm looking at. So, like, each square, you can, you know, it's like each square has, like, four plots you can build on. And if you look, you can see, like, the terrain kind of cuts off here, and then you can kind of see, like, a 3D display. So, like, if I move... Yeah, see, this map is, like, it's, like, in a sort of almost not quite 3D. If you kind of, like, if you squint and look at it hard enough, you can see how it's kind of like a pseudo 3D. Uh, the perspective, like, like, as you go into, like, the, the farms and the fields, like, the, the perspective is kind of weird. Um, the perspective doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes, but, but I don't know, I guess it works. Uh, let's go ahead and change out. We got 813 gold. So what can I do? What can I build? Now what does this magic mill do? So it enhances weapons production. Location is too narrow. Okay, so it enhances weapons production. Hmm. Uh, no, no, what the white dots are. So the white dots, like, okay, you see this little guy right here? Um, you see, like, this little dude standing here? He's a white dot. Every one of the white dots represents an adventurer uh, who's moving around. Like, um, in my case, see, my character is a, is, a, is a wizard. My character's a mage. So, like, all of my minions, all of my uh, adventurers, like, all the people living in my stronghold are mages. Like, every single one of them is a mage. So all those white dots you see, they're all mages. Now, I can build an, a second stronghold, and I can make it like a fighter. And then there'd be a bunch of little fighter dots moving around. Um, and the way this game works is you can only build where the white dots are. You can look anywhere, but you can only build and do things on the squares that have white dots, which is your little people. And you have no ability to control, like, where they move or how they move. So, again, have fun with that, right? Like, you're basically, it's like lemmings. You're just kind of hoping they go to the place that you're, you know, that you want to go. And if not, well, too bad. 
Hmm. So I don't think there's anything productive I can really build yet. So I'm going to go back and let's see, let's make another marketplace. Yeah, let's build a, another marketplace like right here because I, I need to have more income. I lost that, uh, like I lost that really nice, um, oh man, perspective, but there was like a really nice building and I lost it. Uh, the mine. Is there's another marketplace. And there's one too. Okay, we got lots of marketplaces. Stunts. No, I haven't, um, you know, I've, I've not actually played that many racing games. Like, the, the kind of games I usually play is, um, I usually play either, you know, simulation building games, or role-playing games, or, um, I'm trying to think what else, like, uh, I guess just management type of games in general. I'm I'm a fan of those. Uh, I don't really do racing games very often. I, I don't play like I, I think I've only played a handful of racing games in my life. Uh, it's not that I hate the genre; it's just I haven't found many good ones. And I guess adventure. I like adventure games a lot. But that's uh, I guess I tend to play more laid back games. So I want to upgrade some things. Okay, I want to do some upgrading. So uh, let's see. It costs. It costs 500 gold to upgrade this square. And I see, here's the thing. I don't know what upgrading that square would do for me. Like, what would it do for me? I don't know. How about the marketplace? Um, hmm. Information. So it creates five, five gold of income, accesses 40% of market fund. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I guess, yeah, stunts, you know, stunts might be interesting. Uh, I'll uh, check it out. I got a lot of games, a lot of suggestions to check out. And then I have a, but I have a backlog of adventure games I need to get through. So, okay, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to upgrade a farm and see what that does for me. So, upgrading. Plot upgraded. So what, uh, how long is it going to take? It doesn't say. Um you never know how long it's going to take. Oh, hey, look, there's there's a guy just wandering over here. Oh, just look at it. A promising vein of rock right th right here. We must excavate it now to see what lies within. Gold, iron, even gems. Okay. Um excavate. No minerals were found. Promising indeed. So I'm just looking at all the white dots, seeing, like, maybe they found something good. Not really seeing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, goblins. I know, I know. But I saw, like, so on GOG, I saw the, uh... I, I saw that there was the Tex Murphy games, they were on sale. Like, like, really on sale. So I went ahead and got the first three Tex Murphy games. That's what I used donation money for, because uh, I've heard a lot of good things about Tex Murphy, and some people want to see it, so. Uh, Tex Murphy is something that I, I tried to play it for, like, uh, just, like, test play it for, like, five minutes, and, and uh, man, it's got some aggressive copy protection. It's one of those games where the copy protection is woven into the, to the gameplay. And uh, not, not in a really good way, actually, I, I hate to say. So I'm just sitting back and I'm watching my, my little D&D &D empire grow. I'm hoping that they eventually start doing some fighting. Like, um... <laughs> no, Tex, Tex Murphy. It, it looks like a fun adventure game. Like it's um like a cyberpunk uh investigation mystery type of game. And the way it's set up, man, it like you really have to like look through the manuals and actually do some investigating. Yeah, Tex Murphy. Yeah. Um It it seems fun. 
Let's see, what is this little blue thing right here? It's a marketplace. Oh, I see it now. I, I, I didn't really see it. Um. So okay, I uh. Oh, look at that. That's an upgraded field right there. Uh, so what does upgrading the field do for me? Now remember, it cost me like, what, 300 gold to do that upgrade? So what did that do for me? So the income created is 7 gold, feeds 31 people. Okay. So when you upgrade fields, it like, it really, really adds to your income. More than these marketplaces, actually. So, like, the marketplace creates 5 gold of income and accesses 40% of the market fund. Yeah, I, I gotta say, these marketplaces, like, uh, I might want to get rid of them and start upgrading my farms. Just start building farms and upgrading them. So, let's go ahead and upgrade another one. Uh, wait. Oh, it costs 500 gold. That's a, that's a big investment. That is a big gold investment right there. Uh, to upgrade in ho a house, that costs 300. Okay, so maybe I don't want to upgrade that just yet. Uh, let's take a look at my information. Uh, my view. Okay, I have a population of 45, housing of 45. I have 18 income, so my income is not all that great. But I think maybe what I want to do is I want to look into building another stronghold. It's something I can do. And, uh, yeah, it, the Tex Murphy games, I've heard a lot of good things about them. Uh, like, it looks like a, a fun adventure game series. And the later games are, like, they're all about the FMV. So I, uh, yeah, I, I want to give them a look, give them a shot. The first one, the first one, though, it's a very, very rough game in a lot of ways. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna oh, oh oh hold on hold on a minute I see something I see enemies so over here we we got some enemies oh look at that a hobgoblin loyal to hobgoblin he's chaotic okay so we're getting into the D and D monster type of stuff now So, okay, there's like a there's like a hobgoblin village over here. And uh what's the other thing on the on the map? I, I noticed that there's some other things popping up on the map. So uh let me look around here. So what's this? I see something. Here we go. It's a giant bat. So it's nothing important. It's just a giant bat. Okay. So that's just like some random monster. Uh, I think we want to start building out here. Like, see those hobgoblins, I want to start doing something about those hobgoblins. So I'm going to build a new fortress. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Man, like the games, you know, you have to type everything you do. Uh, Tex Murphy is one of those games. But I remember those. I remember those old text parser adventures. Like before. You know, before adventure games became point and click, they were all about text parsing. Hmm. I don't want to overlap my buildings, so uh, I want to give like a good amount of space. Let's create a new party member. So we have a mage, right? We we've got mages. So now let's try to make a fighter. So uh, I guess they need strength and constitution. So let's, uh, I'm hitting the re-roll button until I get what I'm looking for. Okay, strength 18, but only 9 constitution. That's not so good. Um, let's try to get a good mix of strength and constitution. There we go. 18 strength, 12 constitution. And we want them to be a fighter. And their alignment, I mean, I guess we're neutral, so alignment neutral. Uh, I, I guess it doesn't matter. This is like some... So I guess I'm creating a new party member now. Alright, see you later, Tommy. Thanks for showing up. Okay, so... I guess, um, I'm gonna make a new stronghold leader. 
So this is like a whole new leader, a whole new guy. What do I want to do? Um, hmm. Uh, well, uh, uh, who wants to be my fighter? Who wants to be? Uh, who wants to be my kingdom's fighter? My fighter lord. Who wants to? Who wants to be that? I'm looking for some name. Vo well, actually, you know why not? Since he was just here, uh, we can make him be the fighter lord. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so yeah, that that can be our fighter lord. And uh, let's uh, let's keep them, and let's place them right here. So we're gonna have a whole new, a whole new stronghold now. All right, whole new stronghold full of fighters. Look at that, archers and fighters. Okay, um, let's chop that tree down so we can start building immediately here. And this person has their own gold reserve, actually. They have their own little reserve of gold. It's pretty nice. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and claim this tree. Uh, no, chop it down. Okay, so first things first, let's change building to farmland. And farmland. Okay. So we're just going to build some farmland next to their little place. And now we have a whole separate kind of thing. Like, we've got a, a whole separate kingdom, basically. And there you go, look at that. So you got a stronghold, got food and everything. Uh, does anyone here need anything? Got two income, got 20 housing, they're good. So, they are good for now. And they're, uh, they're getting close over here to these, uh, these hobgoblins. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just looking at this right here. So it says there are zero units loyal to Lord Doublest. So I have no units loyal to me. That's not good. Uh, now I built a tower. I, I built like a, a tower over here somewhere. Yeah. So what does this tower do? Uh, let's take a look at it. So, small tower. It costs 10 gold of income and provides visibility of 15 squares north-south, 30 squares east-west. Okay. So it provides visibility. Hmm. He has zero units, reliable army indeed. And hey, Wars, um, let's see, I'm not sure. So like this tower, it, I, I guess I don't need it. I guess the tower is kind of worthless, doesn't really do anything for me, but I don't know. <clears throat> let's, uh, should I do anything with it? I don't know. It does give income. Like, it gives 10 gold of income. So I guess, oh no, it costs 10 gold of income. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to get rid of it. I think the, the tower was a bad move. And I'm going to replace it with a farm. Okay. So we've got another kingdom starting up over here. Let's uh, chop these trees down. First thing we do is chop all them trees down. We don't... We don't need any of that. Okay, so I'm gonna build. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and build some housing. And I'm gonna build some more farmland. Well, hold on. Yeah, I guess I'll build some more farmland. Uh, I'll build a single marketplace. And I will build some more farmland. So farmland is actually like, farmland is really good in this game. It's very good. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, 
I did make them build that tower. It it took a long time to build that tower, but it was costing me money, and income is what I don't have right now. I need to work on my income. So, let's see. I want to try to upgrade some of these farms. So, uh, let's see. This is a plot. What is it? It is uh, income created is one gold. Upgrade. There we go. So I'm upgrading some farms now, just, you know, getting a little bit more gold. We have 277 gold in total, and that's nice. I know, it's the... I love it when people, um... I love it when people misspell things, and, um... It's like they misspell it, like, the hard way, is what I like to call it. It's like when, instead of saying no N-O... You say no, K N O W. It's like that's that's going out of your way to misspell. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Um, we got buildings now, a little ways away, right? If we go out, oh wait, that stronghold, it's gone. I wonder what happened to the hobgoblins. I do wonder. Well, okay. How about this? Let's build another stronghold. Yes, another one. All right. Well, you know, again, I appreciate the uh I appreciate the drop in. Yep, thanks for showing up. Later wars. So I'm going to build another, I'm going to create a new party member, and I'm going to create them over here. So let's uh, create, hmm, do I want to create a kingdom of thieves? Seems like a bad idea. Like that, that seems like a really bad idea to me. But what do I know? Okay, I think I'm happy with these stats, kind of, sort of, maybe. All right, let's create a kingdom of clerics. Let's pump their wisdom up. We can take out of int. All right. And they're going to be neutral like everyone else. And uh, I guess let's, uh, I'm trying to populate my kingdom here, so I don't know. So the clerics, right? The the clerics can be uh, Lady, Lady Burn. That'll, that'll be uh, Lady Burn. The, uh, the Baron, the Baroness of the, uh, the Cleric Kingdom. And, uh, oh wait, did I pick the gender of the character? I, I don't think I did, actually. I think the gender, like, I think it just, uh, yeah, hold on, let me, let me fix that again. Let me, um, and also I think I can do better with the stats. I think I can roll better stats. Yeah, I'm, I, this is better. That is better constitution. So let's do cleric. Let's put some uh, some points in that wisdom. Yeah, I feel like I got better stats that time around. Female. Okay. All right. Yeah, I picked. I uh, I wasn't thinking straight. Okay. Let's keep. Uh, let's keep that one. And let's place them right here. So. There we go. A kingdom of clerics. I don't know why Burn is always the cleric in my like any of my fantasy games. Burn is always the cleric. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, creates food and income. So yeah, let's let's create some farms. Let's ch just chop those trees down. Uh, you don't need trees. Okay. So they're gonna have their own little stronghold. They're gonna have some farms. That's all good. And I can have another, I can have at least one more party member. I think I might even be able to have, like, two party members. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's create someone over here. So let's create one more party member. So I've got fighters, I've got mages, I have clerics. What else do I want? Hmm.
And actually, I think I'm a little bit uh, too close. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's create a party member here. So, uh... Got fighters, we got mages, got clerics. How about thieves? How about some thieves? So, let's, um... What do thieves? Thieves need good dexterity. They need good decks. Uh, they, that looks that looks uh, pretty good all around. And uh, let's pump their decks up. Let's take out of intelli well intelligence is how about strength. And let's take out of int. There we go. There we go. So good dexterity. And uh, who's gonna be our thief? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Who would be a good thief? Uh, let's see, a little kind of stream, going through my list of stream characters here. Or if we go by the uh, Might and Magic game, it'd be either Bingo or Meryl. Um, I don't know, let's, uh, oh wait, no, hold on, we got a real good one. How about, um, how about Al Albert? Uh, Albert the, the, so it's a kingdom of thieves. Um, well, Albert the robber from Might and Magic. Uh, now how about, uh, how about just, uh, just Albert the Mad? Why not? Keep Albert the Mad. And let's place him right here. Oh, strongholds cannot be placed on rivers. Um, so can we place them, uh, place them right here? Uh, that's not much space to work with. Uh, let's, oh, hold on. Season has changed to fall. Okay. So the seasons are changing. So can we, uh, can we place him here? It's too far away. Okay, so place him right here. There we go. Okay. So Albert the Mad is going to be far, far away from everyone else. And let's get him some, uh, let's excavate. No minerals found. So let's just, uh, hold on. Let's just build some farms. There we go. All right, so we got some farms for him. And uh, how about over here? Ooh, over in the desert. How far can I go? Like, how far is too far? That's too far. Uh, I guess this is good. So let's create a, par a party member here. Uh, so I've got... Fighter, mage, cleric, thief. Uh, what else do I need? How about dwarves? Because it's the mountains. Like these are, uh, like this is off in the mountains. So, um, so hold on. Let's, uh, yeah, like let's make a stronghold right on top of a mountain, and they can all be dwarves. So uh, I, I don't know what stats dwarves need, but uh, let's go with this. Strength. Strength is what they need. Let's take out a wisdom. I'll be neutral. Everyone is neutral. Uh, hmm. So who's the dwarf gonna be? I don't know. Hmm. Um. I was thinking lizard man, but no, that's uh. There, there's lizard men in D and D. That'd get confusing. Uh. What else? What else? Um. I don't know. Uh, why not? Spencer the short. Keep. And place. There we go. So we got a mountain fortress coming. Ooh, we found gold. Nice. But we need farms. Okay. So we got a farm coming. So he's going to have some good gold. Um, let's take a look at the map. So yeah, if you look- oh my god, there's a lot of enemy strongholds. There's a lot of them. So we've got five, um, we have the five kingdoms here. 
And it looks like there's a... Oh, there is a proper... Yeah, hold on. Oh, man, look at that. The forces of... Uh, the forces of chaos are uh, are starting to, to assemble. The hobgoblins. They're chaotic! They're chaotic neutral! Okay, let's... um. Yeah, man, look at that thing. Yeah, so those hobgoblins, they are going to be a problem. Uh, how about the other one? I noticed there's like another... Oh, yeah. What, what is this? Let's take a look. <laughs> so it's a giant mound. So basically there's, um, there's a bunch of giant bats, and they're all like... Uh, yeah, so there's giant bats everywhere. So, okay. Um, the forces of evil. Uh, they've got... They've they've got their forces. They are... Um, you know, they're preparing something. But here's what I wonder. I, I don't see any threats over here. But okay. So, I've got my kingdoms created, right? Like, we have the five... The five great kingdoms... But here's the thing, how do I go to war? That's what I'm wondering, like, how do I, how, how do I go to war? I don't know. Uh, let's see, let's take a look over here. My lord, we need more income here. Many people are idle for lack of work, whether we build shops, plant farms, or claim forests. We need more gold. Okay. So his income is very low population so basically uh, his population is fine but they're gonna need more uh, more income he only has 204 gold hmm man that marketplace is still not complete it's a fighter's residence uh, what's over here plot okay so let's start building um, yeah, let's let's start building. Let's claim up that forest, I guess. Creates one gold of income and feeds six people. Alright. Hmm. Well, I don't know, I guess it creates income and all that. That's nice. Yeah, let's let's go ahead. Let's claim all the forests. <clears throat> so, okay. That'll give you income and food. That's nice. So, how about the other kingdoms? So, Lady Burns cl uh cleric keep is still still under construction. Uh, let's take a look around. What about the dwarves? Okay, the dwarves are still doing their thing. My lord, families are squeezed together in tiny rooms. Well, you're dwarves. You're, you're tiny. Ooh, there's another enemy. Oh, what is this? What is this thing? A skeleton. So it's loyal to skeleton, and it's chaotic. Okay, so there's, there's evil skeletons on the loose out near... Uh, out near that place. Okay, how about the thief? Nothing over here. So what what do the thieves need? Okay, so they're doing quite well in that neighborhood. Hmm. Okay. I, I guess everyone's doing fine over there. Hmm. Okay, they're all building up. Uh, they are. They got more land too. Uh, let's let's chop these trees down. Uh, I feel like we got too many trees going on. Uh, let's excavate. Ooh, iron deposits. So they found iron. That's good. Uh, let's look into building things. So uh, how about a forester's camp? So it enables claiming of trees. Place it. 
Okay. Change building. So let's build a uh, some housing over here. So we're just gonna place some housing. And over here, let's claim up some more of those. And they so the the forests they provide like they they provide both um, food and income. So they're not they're not all that bad. Let's claim those up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna claim half of them. I'm gonna chop the other half down, and I'm gonna build some housing. And um, hmm, some housing and some farmland, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so uh, the fighter stronghold is doing quite well. Uh, yeah, the fighter is doing great. He's doing awesome over here. Uh, how's his income though? So he's got 124 gold. He has a fund of 27. Hmm. Let's view the profile here. So his income is very low right now, but that's because he hasn't claimed all the forests yet. Once that's happened, income will go up. So how about the mage? You know, my stronghold. Hmm, things aren't too bad now, but what if the mines peter out, or monsters attack? We'd be happier if there were extra income coming in. So they want more income. So, okay, let's, uh, let's work on that. We've got a ton of farms. Uh, yeah, I have 966 gold, so let's go ahead and start upgrading. Uh, the marketplace I cannot upgrade. Hmm... Let me take a look at the information. So it creates five gold of income. Man, five gold of income is actually not that good. Wait, is there nothing over here? Wow, there's nothing over here. So let's build some more farmland. Okay, these are all farmland. They're all claimed. Okay. Now, there's nothing over here, right? Okay, I can start building. Uh, I can make a vault. Mm. But I want to get like a magic mill and a university and a jeweler and... I mean, look at there, there's all these things. What about an inn? So it's a guest house. Provides housing and income. Hmm. Ooh, it'll cost 2,000 gold, though. Well, until we can do that, let's build more farms. Farms are a nice, quick, nice, quick and easy way to get some income. Hmm. Looks like there's a big square. Oh, I see. Okay, there's a. It looked like nothing was there on the map, but there, there are things there. And let's just keep building out here. Let's build some more farmland. Yeah, a little housing, just. Just one house. There we go. Can't build over there, no. Okay. I'm just making sure that we're constantly growing and expanding. Alright, the thieves. The thieves! Let's chop down those, uh... Yeah, let's just chop those down. And let's start placing some farms. And they'll need one marketplace. There we go. Okay, so a bunch of farms and a marketplace. That'll, know, that'll get their food production going. And how about the dwarves? Uh, are the dwarves expanding yet? Uh, they are not. They are, as a matter of fact, not expanding yet. Hmm. They're still building uh, that gold mine. Okay. What do the people want? Things aren't too bad. Okay. So things are doing good for them. Oh, the cleric. The cleric, their fortress is built, and I think they're ready to start expanding. So let's, uh, let's start building farms. And one marketplace. 
So yeah, like the the purpose in having at least one market is that it gives you funding, which I'm not exactly sure what that does, but I figure I want to have it, right? I don't know what it does, but I know I want it. That's uh uh Okay, so the fighters. The fighters have been uh they've been working pretty hard. Let's take a look at their castle. So they have 12 income, 203 gold. So they're not really, uh, they're not a whole lot to show for themselves. So they've got trees, and upgrading the trees costs 400 gold. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Now what does that do? So the forester's camp. It costs 4 gold, but it claims trees automatically. Hmm. Um, so it automatically, I, I don't know, is that really something we want? Ooh, on this day, it was declared to all the realms that Lord Doublus shall henceforth hold the rank of Viscount in recognition for city management. Okay. All right, I, I guess I did good. I, I'm doing good. Um, so this nice big lodge that they just built, it automatically claims trees. I, I don't know. Is that something I need? Do I do I need to start claiming? I mean, like I know I need to claim trees, but I can do that on my own. I don't know. Like, are all these trees out here claimed automatically? No. So, yeah, I think I'll get rid of this thing. I mean, I, I know I put money into building it, but... But I could do so much more if I had, uh, for instance, some some farms. Yeah, see, like, building a few farms, that would give me more income. Hmm. Now, those goblins. See, I'm looking over here. These goblins. They are, uh... See, they're ever-expanding outwards. And I don't know what to do about that. Hmm. Interesting. I can kind of switch, like, how I, how I do things here. Ooh. It's like 3D. Okay, um... It's like, my stronghold is doing really well. And, I, as a matter of fact, like, I should upgrade some of these farms. Alright, I should start upgrading those things. Get me some more income. They say that we have enough housing here, but try to find a new place, and you'll see how hard it is. We'd be happier if there were more houses around here. Well then. Well... I guess I'll have to build more housing for my mages. Uh, have we built out here yet? Okay. Uh, okay, we'll switch out some of those to housing. Oh, there's a swamp. Let's fill it in. The swamp is being filled. I guess that'll take a while. Okay. So yeah, we're building one new house, and one, uh, or yeah, yeah, one house, two farms, and we're filling in a swamp. Ooh, the, uh, the thieves, they've expanded. Excavate. Gold has been discovered. Alright, so they'll claim that up. Let's build some housing. And let's build some farmland. Wait, are they still... are they still building farmland? They're, they're, they're still building farmland. Let's take a look at uh, Albert here. Hmm, so there's two units loyal to Albert. Hmm. Now why do I have, like... I get like zero units loyal to me.
Let's go ahead and create some more plots. Chop them trees down. So I'm going to build some housing. And let's build some more farmland. Okay, so lots of farmland. See, I, here's what I figure. I figure that I can just kind of, I can build lots of farmland, you know, make sure we have lots of, lots of income. And then if I need more money, I can upgrade. And if I need to replace those with something else, I can always do that too. Farmlands are pretty easy. Uh, iron deposit discovered. Nice. Yeah, farmlands are, are pretty nice when it comes to, uh, you know, you can just do whatever you want with them, basically. And we got 138 gold on him. The fighters are also expanding quite nicely. Uh, can we upgrade? Not just yet. How about the clerics? Okay, the clerics are wanting to expand, so let's, uh... Oh, hold on, hold on. I didn't want to do that. What I want to build is farmland. Now, what do the people want? We can't... We can't help th thinking, my lord, that this would be a good place to build something to help our people. Okay. So, let's build some farms. Oh, wait. No, I didn't want to suspend. All right, so we're gonna build some farms over there. Let's take a look at the stats. So population is 12, housing is 20. Uh, income is very low. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and make some plots. And let's make a house. Oh, we, we can't, can't. No, we can, we can build one more. So we're just going to build a house right there. So, okay. They are slowly going to get to building. That's nice. And how about the dwarves? Because the dwarves, I haven't really done anything with them yet. Okay, let's start building. Let's chop the trees down. Because dwarves don't need trees. So let's, uh, let's place some farms right here. Let's excavate. No minerals found. That's fine. So I'm gonna place a couple farms, and I'm gonna, if I can click on it. Yeah, let's place a house right there. Building is now a dwarven home. Select a type of building. Housing. Oh, it's un. Okay, so it's unsuitable for buildings. Okay. Yeah, this location is unsuitable for buildings. But I can make farmland, so I can make farmland there. Okay, so let's make a house right over here. Alright. How about in this direction? Okay, let's build a. Uh... Well, actually, let's build a market. You gotta have at least one market. So now let's build farmland. Alright. And, uh... Yep. Some more farmlands. One more house. Oh, it's unsuitable for, for that kind of thing. So let's, uh... Let's make farmland. Okay. And we got one guy over here. So let's build housing. There we go. Let's build some housing over here. Chop them trees down. Chop all the trees down. And replace them with farmlands. Okay. So the dwarves should uh, the dwarves should start expanding. Should start growing. Uh, oh, we haven't claimed this, have we? It seems like farmlands are the main thing you want. Gold is discovered. Awesome. Place another... There we go. So the dwarves will have plenty food, plenty housing. Uh, they should be okay. So let's look at our overall map. So 
Our strongholds are coming along quite nicely. All of them are growing, expanding. Now, the enemies... Like, I I'm seeing that the enemy strongholds are... Um, like the giant bats and the hobgoblins. They're growing. Like, a lot. There's a new threat, too. And what is this new threat? I see them over here. It's trolls, of course, and they're only loyal to troll, and they're chaotic. They have a good XP value, though. Uh... Oh, hey, look, there's a little help menu. So, uh, what does this say? So, um, hmm. Nice. I love it, the now what? Oh, you know what? Hey, let's check this out. What does it have to say? So, okay, it's telling me how to build. I know all about that. Yeah, food and housing are the most important. I know that. Hmm. Okay. So watch housing, food, income, and population to gauge how well you are doing. All right. So how about combat? So, okay, so attack them before they come after you. Hint, build and upgrade a tower as soon as you can afford it. It will help you locate enemy strongholds. Two, attack with armies. To create an army, click on people in order to ready the ones who are not homed. So, uh, B, attract the people to a nearby block. C, attract the army to an enemy stronghold. Hmm. Okay, so we can actually, like, uh, okay, okay, so I can move armies on the map. Well, okay, okay then. Now that I know that, uh, let's try to move some armies, I guess. Well, the hobgoblins are the closest one, and they're over here. So, like, if I click this guy, so he's a unit of one. Hmm. So he's got a short sword, armor class 3, chainmail. Uh, can we ready him? So ready characters are the first to come when attracted. Fighter is ready. Okay. Hmm. So like now, how do I attract? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I, I don't I think I need more help. Uh, unless I can, like, send my armies over here. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the leader option here. Okay, so the leader is just Hobgoblin. Okay. Help. So, combat. Now, it says right here that I can attract people. So, attract the people to a nearby block. Attract the army to an enemy stronghold. So, see the pyramids section in the manual under the heading moving units okay so i'm gonna have to look at the manual um give me un momento to uh, to check that out but i guess what i should be doing is readying units so i'm gonna go ahead and ready yeah i'm, I'm gonna ready like hold on i'm gonna ready like uh i guess like two guys right see i'm gonna ready you All right, and I'm gonna ready, uh, I guess I'll ready one mage. Yeah, ready them. And go ahead and ready up one dwarf. And ready up one thief as well. 
So yeah, I'm I'm just gonna ready like I'm gonna ready up one of each, and so I've got all of my units. All my units are ready to go. So let's uh, save the game. All right. So now, how do I move my units? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to take a look at the manual, I think. I, I think I'm gonna have to check that manual out. So, let's go ahead and Alt-Tab, and let's take a look at what the manual has to say about moving. Uh, let me, let me look. So, movement. Here we go. Three. Terrain. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. They said it was under the pyramid section. So, give me a second here. So, uh, controlling the game. Pyramid. Here we go. So page 13. So let me just look at that page 13 of the manual Okay, so pyramids so the pyramids located on the right of the screen. All right Hmm So setting a pyramid changes the priorities of the units only in the block you are currently viewing Okay, so it changes the priority of units in the block I'm currently viewing. Hmm. Okay. So, recruit. So, the yellow portion of the pyramid represents the amount of... Oh, it's winter. It's winter now. I guess winter has come. But, um... So, let's see. So, the yellow portion, it represents the amount of recruiting you want the units on the screen to do. The more yellow in the pyramid, the more recruiting the units will perform. So recruiting attracts new first level units to the stronghold and increases the size of existing units. Okay. So train. Um, okay, so existing units will increase in level more quickly. Higher level units are more powerful. Okay. And then build is, that's obvious. So how do I move units? So at the bottom of each pyramid is a horizontal magnet bar. Use, so use this to attract additional units to a map block. Go to the block you want to attract units to, select the pyramid for the leader's units you want to attract, and then click the magnet. The further towards the right end of the magnet you click, the more units you attract. The further left, the fewer. Oh, hey, speeding up time. So, okay, here we go. Um, hmm. So to accelerate the passes of time, press the space bar. Okay, so I can, I can accelerate time. All right, let's get back into the game here. Oh, what, what, what is even happening? There we go. Game freaked out for a second. So, yeah, they don't like the alt tabbing. So, so okay. I want to attract units right here. So let's uh, pick him. Attracting four of four possible fighter units to this location. Okay. So then I want to. Uh, attracting two of two possible mage units to the location. Here we go. Yeah, I want to attract as many units as possible. So I want to attract, like, everyone I can possibly attract to this square right here. And this only applies to this square. So people should start moving. Yeah, I see the units moving on the map. Okay, so we're making progress now. Uh, we are, we are getting people to this square. It's good. Oh man, yeah, look at that. They're all, uh, they're all attract moding. Uh, let's, let's press the space bar. Time passes. I see, hold the space bar. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right, nice. So I want to attract more units 
to this square right here. I want to get everyone over here. So it's time to fight. It's time to take down the enemy legions. So let's go ahead and... Uh, is everyone attracting? There we go. So let's do some combat. Here we go. Intelligence report. Dwarf unit engaged in combat. Alright. So our units are now engaging in the combat. Here we go. Oh! That dwarf got killed. The hobgoblin is charmed by magic. Hmm. Interesting. Mage casts a charm person spell on Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin down! Hobgoblin is charmed by magic. Hey, we won! So, yeah, let's keep going. Um, we want to go straight to their enemy stronghold. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sending everyone over here. This is the most awkward way possible to... Uh, to control how things work. But okay, look, we're, we're sending all of our armies. It's advanced time. Oh, I may not pass time in combat. Okay. Nice! Archer got a kill. So yeah, like, there's a huge stronghold of uh, hobgoblins, so I am just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna try to get all my soldiers to, uh, to come over here and start attacking. Finally! Combat! Okay. Oh man, they got like a homing arrow. Nice! The mages are doing their... their uh, the mage did a web spell. The hobgoblin breaks free. Alright. Now get to that... get to that stronghold. Time passes. Okay, units are engaged in combat. Time passes. Units are engaged in combat. Here we go, look at this! The battle for the Hobgoblin stronghold begins! It's better than Lord of the Rings! <laughs> okay, so the mages are casting all their spells. That's nice. Man, the mages! They, the, the mages are just destroying them. Alright, so we, we won. Um, so what can we do? So there is the Hobgoblin Keep. Um, so there's 3,000 gold, 96 funds in there. Uh, so let's go to Lord Double here. Hold on. Oh, look, they're still fighting. So I want to demolish the, uh, the enemy fort. Alright, 230 experience gained. Nice. The Hobgoblin stronghold was destroyed. Nice. So I guess we, we won. On this day, it was declared to all the realms that Lord Doublus shall henceforth hold the rank of Count in recognition of valor in the field of battle. So I feel like I'm making progress now. I, I feel like I'm finally making a little bit of progress. Uh, I feel like maybe things are happening now, and we're not just like, you know, building on the map. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So I took out the Hobgoblins. Um, like, there's still, there's still hobgoblins out there, I mean, like, you look at that little hut, right? So, uh, can I do anything with the hut? So I can salvage it, new owner. Um, I guess I could tear it down? Yeah, sure, let's tear it down. So yeah, like, I can just tear down their little village. I can just destroy it. Just get rid of it all. Well, I don't know, there's not really a whole lot of reason to do that. Um, but yeah, we took out the hobgoblins, that's nice. I mean, uh, that's awesome. So... 
Let's look at the map. Oh, hey, hold on a minute. There's something over here. Oh, yeah. So, what is this? Oh, it's the Troll Kingdom. Look at that. There's a whole kingdom of trolls. Okay, yeah, there's there's like a whole troll kingdom over here, and uh, we gotta take them out in, in good due time. Uh, what level are they? They are level two. So, yeah, they're level two. I think we're all still level one. Like, I, I think... Oh, wow, look, I just noticed there's like a... Yeah, the hobgoblins, they're all like... They're marching. They're marching straight into our little... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and rally everyone to this this area. So yeah, I'm gonna rally everyone over here. Okay, it's advanced time. Time passes. Yeah, I'm just watching time pass. Okay, looks like there's combat. Oh yeah, look at that. The hobgoblins. Oh, the hobgoblins are wrecking that fighter. Ouch. Time passes. So I'm guessing the hobgoblins are like attacking or um Ah, I see the hobgoblins. They are uh they're pillaging our farms. That's what they're doing right now. So let's have all of our fighters and everything, let's have them come in here. Yeah, let's just have them handle the situation. Okay, so everyone, uh, we're rallying everyone to deal with the hobgoblin menace. I guess they want revenge. They, they want revenge for us pillaging and plundering their lands. Alright. Uh, looks like they're doing a pretty good job of, uh, yeah, we're doing a good job of defending. Okay. And how's everyone's level doing? Uh, unit of three. Oh, they're level three. Yeah, we can, we can take those trolls on. Okay. So, at least now I know. Like, I know how to deal with, like... Like, I know how to get units to go to certain squares now. That's good. I, I didn't know how to do that before. I'm glad that I know now. Um... Hmm. Okay, well, at least now I know what to do. I know how the game works now. Oh, a, mi a mine has been exhausted. That doesn't look good. Hmm. The main castle held by Lord Doublas. So I have to home a unit here to halt damage. Oh, I s- oh, uh, mm. Okay. So they're unassigned. Okay, so I see what's going on here. So, like, when I- when I tell units to go to a location, if there's no one there to, like, you know, keep an eye on things, then everything just falls apart. That's great. So, uh, let's let time pass. Alright, the season has changed to spring. Hmm. Okay, can I assign a unit to go back there? Okay, they're homed right there. So, I'd like to attract a unit. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna attract a unit back here. There we go. So we're gonna get him here. Gonna home them.
Hmm. Okay, let's, uh... Let's home one guy right here. Hmm. Okay, there's no one over here. So let's... Oh, hold on. Let's go to, uh... Into the cleric. And we're gonna track one cleric back there. And there's still unassigned people. Okay, they've been homed. The thieves. Let's uh, send the thief back to their uh, to their home. Just looking for squares where there's no one on them. Uh, I, I guess let's just send people back. Let's pick Albert. Now, this is a little bit tricky, The uh, how you have to manage... Like, how you have to manage these units is a bit tricky. Okay, and let's go ahead and send a dwarf back here, so... Um, go. Alright. So, yeah, the moment they get back, we will home them in that square. All right, and we're gonna home them. So they can be called away from home. Uh, but let's just leave them unassigned. Okay, and let's home someone right here. Okay. So my castle is badly damaged. Let's just repair that. Yeah, so okay, I, I'm getting a better grasp of how the game functions. Like, so if you want to go to a specific square on the map, you can do that. However, the thing is, is that if you just send everyone, like if you just send your entire kingdom to go fight something, then all the houses, all the buildings, they're all just going to fall into disrepair. So... Uh, that that's something you do not want to happen. Now let me check my uh, hold on. Let me check my gold reserves here. So I have a vault storage of three thousand. Okay. I need more gold though. I need more. I know I have a lust for gold, but I do require more. So I'm gonna upgrade. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to start upgrading all of our farms. Yeah, that way, uh, normally they, like, okay, normally these farms, they only produce one gold. You upgrade them, they produce seven gold. That's a six gold increase right there. That is not an insignificant number, and you'd have to build, like, six more farms to get that. So, yeah, no, that's a, that's a good move. Yeah, and same with the other, uh, the other places. I'm gonna start upgrading them all. So let's build some farmland. Chop that tree down. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna work on making everyone have more money. All right, like everyone needs money. Uh, how about the forest? Let's upgrade the forest. I don't know how you upgrade a forest, but but we're gonna do it. And yeah, upgrade a f the forest and upgrade a farm. So I want everyone to be making money here. I want everyone to be uh, profitable and uh, prospering. Build some farmlands. And, you know, one more house. Alright, we building over here? Yes, okay. Let's upgrade. Okay, so we're just gonna upgrade some of these farms. 
Okay, a mine is exhausted at 76.25. So 76.25, which would be like way up here. Okay, so yeah, a mine was exhausted, so just replace it with a farm. And let's go back here. And we're gonna continue the upgrading. Oh, hold on. On this day, it was declared that all of the realms that Lord Doublest shall henceforth hold the rank of Marquis in recognition for city management. I like these little these little sections here where it, it just kinda gives you a little jingle and a cutscene and it's like, hey, you're doing good. It's a uh, you know, feels good. So let me just keep upgrading. Alright, that's all the upgrading we can do there. So how about the dwarves? Let's uh hmm. Yeah, let's create some farms over here. Uh let's chop down some trees. Build some more farms. And mine is exhausted at 5637, which would be right over here. And let's start upgrading. Let's get everything all nice and upgraded. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's upgrade that dwarven home. Alright, so they've got all the upgrades over there. Uh, have we upgraded here yet, or not? I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll upgrade one more. And hey, we'll upgrade a house too. There you go. And they've only got 174 gold. They don't really have the gold to go spending on anything. So I'm going to go ahead and create some farms for them. And I hate having to constantly... Uh, you know, like I hate having mines just, you know, go empty. So I'm just going to fix that. And I think I saw one unassigned or uh, someone who was not homed. Yeah, let's unassign them. Okay. And let's unassign this guy over here. Now hold on. Yeah, this one. There we go. So the, uh, the giant bats... There's still the matter of all these giant bats over here. Uh, let's take a look at the map. So, we know about the giant bat stronghold down here. Uh, what we don't know about is, uh, let's see, over here, there's there's one guy still out there. I don't know what he's doing. Let's unassign them. They, they can come home. It's okay to come home now. Uh, hmm. Okay, so it looks like the next thing on the, on our agenda should be the uh, the stronghold of giant bats, which is right over here. There are a bunch of giant bats. I mean, I don't think they're going to be a threat. They're they're not. Yeah, they they only have six hit points, six armor. Clo That's not going to be a threat. Okay. So um hmm. The kingdom is coming along nicely, everyone. So, like, what I've been doing here is I've been working on gold income. Let's uh, let's look. So I have eighty nine income now for the main castle. All right. 
Yeah, I'm pretty happy with all this right now. Uh, we're, we're slowly, you know, building, growing, upgrading. It's fun times. Hmm. Let's build out here a little bit. Um, let's build another house for him. Gonna remove those rocks. Chop that down. Alright, let's build some farmland. Uh, just right in there. And why not? Let's put a granary in there. Well, granary, that'll actually cut into our money. Mine is exhausted at 76.36. Uh, that would be right... right here, actually. Um, okay. And I'm going to have Albert uh, upgrade a few more farms. Build another house. Okay, so everything is coming along quite nicely. Uh, it looks like everything's doing great. And uh, I'm just going to let things build up for a while. You know, next thing I want to do is I want to deal with the giant bat problem. But uh, I think the rest of everything's okay. Also, I, I wonder, I know we can build bridges, but I'm thinking for like these big lakes, like, why can't we build boats? Ah, well. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, I think, uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to uh, save here. And, you know, I'm actually starting to make progress with this whole thing. Like, I'm actually getting somewhere with it. I'm happy about that. I feel like this game is, it's both, you know, once you know what to do, it's both really simple and yet very complicated at the same time. <laughs>